I'm leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Renser, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. <laughs> that is the price for humanity. Oh, please, don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no. That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR-61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of Tomain poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid, because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden's sucking dinner through a straw. 
Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in, and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for Rep Detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slimming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse, they never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no! There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What Scooza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runsitters. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. <laughs> Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Yeah, I mean, who would own animals powered by rechargeable batteries? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, welcome to Blade Runner. A game that's quite old, released in 1997, I believe, by uh, Westwood Studios, back when they still made good games. And uh, it is about a detective, Ray McCoy, who is indeed part of the Blade Runner squad and is assigned to hunt down a replicant. Now, uh, this, you know, game, it's kind of based on a movie uh, that is also called Blade Runner. But it isn't like a replay of the movie, it is rather a story that happens at the same time and at the same place as the one in the movie. But it is different, it's more like you know, a supplement to the movie, so to say. And by the way, the movie is really good. Uh, I actually stumbled upon that in a few months back and... Well, ever since, I wanted to play this game, but only now did I have time to start playing it and recording it. So, there we are. But the movie, the movie is really good. It's quite philosophical. I really like it, even though it is quite old. I mean, this game is from 1997. The movie, I believe, but I could be wrong in this, is from 1982. So, but yeah, here we are then, in Los Angeles, 2019. And I must say that for <laughs> something that is only five years in the future, <laughs> um, we, you know, the present guys, <laughs> got quite a bit of work to do on Los Angeles before it looks like this. <laughs> also, the car manufacturers got quite a bit of work to do, because I haven't seen any hover cars floating around just yet. But, ah well. Now here we are. We are a detective, and, well, this game is more or less an adventure game, where we are adventuring into crime scenes, investigating who did it and whatnot. Now, um, you know, back in the day, I have played this game already back in the day, but <laughs> I was a little kid, which, well, you know, I mean, detectives usually are grown-ups with brains, <laughs> and that is a thing that I wasn't <laughs> when I was a kid. So, yeah. Right now, though, I am clever with brains, and uh, we are going to solve all the crimes and all that. And, well, as a good detective would do when just entering a crime scene, is talk to his colleagues who are already there and find out what they know. So, we're gonna do that too. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock, he's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd oh. feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. 
That's interesting. So, they didn't actually kill the old Rancity. I thought, you know, well, based on what we saw in the intro movie, which is of course a thing that Ray McCoy doesn't know. So, yeah, but um, we know, but I thought that in the intro movie they actually killed the Rancity. Turns out they didn't, which is interesting, but, you know, for Ray it doesn't really matter that much. He just thinks that uh, Rancity got lucky. Anyway, and now that we know what happened, 30 animals killed and Rancity is still alive, and, well, a complete trash and mess inside the shop. Um, let's talk to the crowd over here, see if anybody's seen anything happening. You're not gonna talk? Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. Apparently, us being a rookie detective is, uh, well, you know, quite in high standing uh, when it comes to police rankings and all that. Because we got cops doing work for us. <laughs> nice. Now, uh, this piece right here is kind of drawing my attention. And as you can see, the mouse turns green, which means that it is important. So, we'll go Find over something? there. Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. <laughs> yeah, horse chrome. Don't you know? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, this sarcasm. Right, I love that. <laughs> well, this is also green. I saw that when hovering the mouse over it. Oh. Uh, I clicked on myself. Which is uh, good now that we're in this screen. Um, this is, uh, well, a kind of future eye tab, which is uh, better and more sophisticated than the eye tabs we have right now. Uh, really though, uh, this device is also in the movie, I believe, which is from 1982 when computers were still in its infant shoes and were big as rooms, I believe. But they had already thought of the concept of a portable computer. You know, an eye tab, which I think is quite clever. Just shows how much they look into the future. Anyway, we can do stuff over here, you know, like... There's like clues and whatnot recorded in this one, so... No, you see, there's like officer statement, we could... About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated stuff, assault. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> we just heard it. But we can, this is like a database, really. A portable database, which contains all our clues and our voice recordings and all that important stuff. So, it also shows over here how much money we got. Look, <laughs> which uh, isn't the dollar anymore, but chin yen, <laughs> which does sound awfully Chinese to me, but I don't know, maybe China's taken over. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, maybe China and Japan then, seeing how it's also yen. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we just started, so there isn't much here, so we'll go back, but look, see, this, oh, this trash can. Oh, what's in there? Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. What? <laughs> you are not gonna root through a trash can? Very disappointing, Ray. Anyway, uh, this was the thing I wanted to click on at first, this red... Well, it seems like a... F you know, one of those cranes that fire trucks hook up to when they need to douse the fire. But, I um, mean, it's green, so let's find out what kind of important information uh, this fire crane contains. Scratches right? and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Hmm. I think I know what it means too. It means that the suspects, you know, of the crime, the criminals, uh, either, well, they, they came and left by car, and they were in quite a hurry. They weren't that carefully with their car. So it was probably stolen. I mean, if, if it is your own car, you don't really want to leave marks behind. But they bumped into it, so they probably had the stolen car. A black car. And it also had chrome. Because I do believe that this piece and the paint flecks that he's seen on there, they do relate. So, interesting. Now, the door is open here, and it is also green, so... Let's find out if it was forced or anything, you know? Or I already maybe... checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. 
Make sure the lab boys run them through the mainframe, human and rep. Hmm, interesting. So that means that the shop was open, actually. It wasn't closed. They hadn't... They... Well, not the criminals. They... They hadn't really had to force their way in to get in. I could just open the door. This is interesting. Um, is there anything else over here, like you? No. I mean, this is our car. I don't really want to go away, of course, just yet. Have you find anything from the locals here yet? Find or? anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Mm. <laughs> that makes two of us Ray. <laughs> right, let's go inside then. I mean, it's pouring rain outside here anyway, so we might as well. Alright. Ooh. Judging from is. the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Hold on a second. Which prints? Because <laughs> I do see Mr. Rancito walking around here, and I don't see any animal remains I'm in here. Oh, no, no, maybe, maybe they, they are below these white pillows. Because it was about to say, like, I don't see any animal remains, so the cops must have cleared them out here. And Mr. Rancito is walking around here, you know, trousing around through all the clues and evidence. <laughs> I don't know really how you came to that conclusion, Ray. I guess you must be a good detective. Anyway, seeing how he survived, uh, let's talk to him. See what he got to say about the crime. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. My precious one. Hmm. What she a surprise. Malevolent looking criminals. Anyway, um, there he goes already implying that his employee, the little girl, I think, Lucy, um, is in it on the crime. I don't know why he would think that, so let's ask him. Can you him. think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? Uh, well, Ranciter, how about humans? I mean, they've been known to do horrible and awful things, so... It's not just replicants that are all I'm bad. Ruined. Anyway, uh, totally what else do you got to ruined. say about why you imply Lucy on the crime? You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Perseron cult. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? I don't know. Maybe you want to reek in more profits. I can only imagine that artificial I'm animals ruined. are cheaper totally than the ruined. real ones. Anyway, you still haven't answered my question about Lucy being in on the crime and why. So, <laughs> let's oh, try this again. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. Hold on a second, you say you treat her well? I mean, I've seen that intro movie, and I don't know, but I thought that you had very, very shady intents with Lucy. You sick old perv. Man, 14 years old. At least, I don't know, he never did anything that we could see, but I think it was laid upon heavily that he was 
Well, he had sick and perverted I intent. So. Anyway, you did baby. say that she came recommended by someone. I mean, can you tell me more about that wholesaler? Maybe I can talk about to him about this Lucy. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, yeah, it's Ogilvy's. somewhere here. Just a moment. What? <laughs> you did walk just through me? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Object collision. <laughs> Not yet invented, I believe. <laughs> here you are. I'm ruined. Thank you. Totally ruined. Right. Do you have anything else to say about, I don't know, replicants and Lucy and anything Stick around. else? around. I may not be finished with you. My hmm. precious one. Right. It seems she that my baby. Mr. Runsitter give all he could give in terms of information. Now, I mean, it's a big mess here. I see that as well. But um, one thing that I see that's quite interesting is the fact that there's a camera here, which, I don't know, it seems to be still recording, <laughs> being that there's a red button flickering there. Uh, and it's green, so let's uh, check if there's any, well, video footage I'm of the crime or anything like it. Totally ruined! You got any discs yeah. from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of Jinyan's worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point at that. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. <laughs> peachy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't know discs could be peachy, but... Now, one thing, you know, that I'm also curious about is seeing how all the animals were shot. And, well, at first I thought Mr. Aransiter as well. There should be, like, shell casings around here, you know, somewhere on the floor. I don't really see anything just lying around here just yet, but... There should be. Maybe there aren't. Now, what's this? No. Where did, no. I thought for a moment this was the gun, actually, but... Where? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think these are casings. My precious yep. one. She was my baby. Big caliber. Possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. Alright, possibly off-world, huh? Which is where mo all the bloody mutinated violent replicants came from. That's interesting. All the more implications all that it animals. were indeed replicants. Now if you could <laughs> just shut up, <laughs> stop whining and go home. Ah, <sighs> you're really working my nerves here, Runcita. Now then again, it, this is probably like his shop that he I had for like 30 years or all totally his life. Ruined. And seeing how real life animals are with scars, um, I don't think he can easily get this back up to running, so maybe he has some right to complain. Anyway, we're gonna go over here and see if there's anything interesting at Lucy's desk that we could use, you know, or find clues about or anything like it. Right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, isn't that cute? Is it now, Ray? I don't know. Do you like monkeys? I don't know. They look like beavers to me, really. Or rats. Yeah, the joys of low resolution pictures. Well, isn't Apparently that they're monkeys. Who is to say, right? Anyway, I do see something over here. A candy bar. Yuck. What? You don't like candy then, Ray? I mean, you don't like sweets. Apparently not. I also see this over here, which is clearly a clue. How we leave in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Ah, interesting. So this is like one of these eating sticks they use for Chinese food. And... Well, I don't think that this dog is alive. Because... Otherwise, it would probably have moved or, you know, barked at me. Also, wait, it has wheels at its hmm. behind. A toy dog. Yeah, a toy dog. Right. Um, 
anything else here really? I mean, these are like three things that I have no clue how they relate to Lucy, but can't really go through over here. There's nothing there really. This is odd. I mean, you'd think that, you know, it is important to find out what's in the back of this room. And it's only a curtain. It's not like it's an impenetrable sealed door or anything, but... And I guess the game has decided for us that it is of lesser importance. Can't really find anything here. I mean, these gunshots, they are nothing. Well, I mean, there's that poster, but... Yeah, I don't think that there was much more, so... We'll head back here. We'll find out if Mr. Runciter uh, has remembered anything done. else, and if not, then we'll baby. leave here. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Right. Well, <laughs> Ray, um, I know that we are kind of finished with Mr. Ransitter here. So, yeah. <laughs> well, let's go outside. Maybe the cop out there has it got didn't more add up. clues. Animal from. murders, the lack of any theft. The small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. You've got a good point there, Ray. I was just thinking of myself as well. Like, if this was to be a regular theft, then why that they kill all the animals rather than taking the small ones that are easy to, well, you know, thieve away and all that. So, yeah, that's interesting. You got a good point. It's probably some other heinous crime. Maybe some, I don't know, sociopath or completely lunatic who just came here to murder animals. Anyway, um, yeah, we're, we were about to talk to the cop, see if he had discovered anything from the crew outside here, you know? The crowd, I mean, not the crew. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions uh, inside. Nothing. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I know. Uh, we've been inside, and I got all the clues, so... Right then, well, I guess that there is not much more to do over here right now, so we might as well uh, go and... Well, take all our evidence to the police station, right? I mean, <laughs> that's what cops usually do. They collect stuff and then go and examine it at the police station. So we, we're going to do that as well, <laughs> being good detectives as we are. Now, um, this is where we are right now, Runciter's Animals. Well, this is Chinatown. Well, that's where we need to go with the chops for the chopstick, you know, the, the food, the eating wood stick. Uh... That's not really where I want to go. McCoy's apartment. We have our own apartment. That's interesting. Anyway, this is the police station. And this is where we should go, I think. To uh, analyze our clues. 